just to throw a wrench in whatever plans Moru had a Baru in. Battle of the Sorties right here. One of them trying to collect those a Christmas tree of buffs, red and green, day and night. Accelerado up and then immediately just turning on the aggression, just applying really, really good projectile pressure too. The slow moving projectiles behind the Accelerado, a little bit of a projectile on the drive rush and Street Fighter VI style gameplay going on. Please limit uh, Blade Beam this. I beg of you, go autopilot. Side B's a bit of a... Oh my god, that forward air killed. Moru jumped into it and... Uh, they're going to be losing the first stock right here. Yeah, I was going to say, the side B for Hero can be sneakily good in this matchup. It outspaces everything that Cloud has. We all know how Cloud loves to jump in at you. So just catching it up with a little bit of like a retreating side B can be a very powerful tool to dissuade aerial options. Very nearly catching out that zoom. Look at that just perfect shield pressure for Mo2. We, we recognize the shield is a little bit low, recognize that your opponent is going to want to jump out of your pressure, so simply do it again and hit it high this time, threatening the shield poke on the head. Is that oop and psych up that we have here? You can never tell when Hero's got two of the red buffs. It doesn't look like it anymore. Though. Yep, so now we are a buffless hero. Just needs a second to pull out that book, but the problem is no MP either, so we are just kind of scrapping here. Need to go ahead and apply a little bit of shield pressure at the very least, because with only 5 MP and the flame is slash burning, the ability to charge up that upbeat, definitely a unforced error offstage by Relwood. Being trying for the buff forward air, a great air dodge from Moru. Two tapper on the shield, getting these bounces are taking up an awful lot of MP for very little reward. I just closed the book right there, turned to another page, my friend. It's not worth it. Any time this hero has this little MP, it feels like the match wildly tilts in Moru's favor. right there from Moru, continuing the pressure. Gets a snooze, we're gonna get a crit. Fully charged force match may do it by itself, it does! 55% and a little bit of rage. Just enough to clean that stuff. That's always the problem. Percentage differentials tend not to matter. All your opponent needs to do is top deck and react. Wasn't even really a top deck right there. Like. Rel was kind of holding on that snooze for a little bit. It's like, you're, you're not going to run at me, are you? And unfortunately, Moru obliged. Hero! Small battlefield and back with the bounce. 20 MP wasted. I just don't get it. I gotta, I gotta grill. I gotta figure out what the logic is. Gets another snooze. Going for another forward smash at 54. Still does it even without the rage and a little bit of anger from Moru. They grabbing their head right there and considering their errors. That's two stocks in a row lost to not respecting that projectile. A lot of work to do right here on Moe's end. Well, now forcing the corner, doesn't have a ton of MP, but still plenty to get that up B going. 
great parry on the up air. Who the heck would have thought about that? This little MP, this is like zoom or bust if you get him off stage. Forcing low recovery with that charge. Very smart play here from Moru. Now tilt not going to connect, but the little, like, book stall for him there. I like that. Grabbing that menu just to stop the momentum and cause that forward air to whiff. Great little movement there from Moru, though, so it's not going to matter too much. Neutral be very nearly set up for that forward air. Ever so slightly off was Rel, though. And after getting a massive lead, this cloud has chipped it down to next to nothing here. The neutral just going so well for Moru that Rel Wood starting to flail a little bit. Lots of smash attacks, whiffing, and big options, big projectiles coming off of that menu, and just nothing is connecting. At least nothing that matters. Great tech, though. That needed that to keep the stock. Gets the soft hit of the up smash. So not going to claim that on the backswing. Look at that spacing one. That was brilliant. Mo immediately landed, jumped back, recognizing the Relwood wanted to approach and match him drift for drift. Like they are just playing at another level right now. Despite losing the stock right there, getting two off of his. Off of their second stock was very, very impressive. the landing right there and then immediately up B from Mo catching Rel reversing the situation zoom we're gonna finally get a call out uh, finally does get the up tilt but can't land anything stronger than that platform drop up air continuing the pressure with the force match not gonna connect Rel gets the tilt and tries to cover plat not gonna work out up air having trouble landing this is kind of like the Bane with the hero the disjoint below not particularly large Psych up means that just about anything will do it. What was that option? It looked like Rel ran forward and started to charge the side B. There is armor on that, but it was far, far too late. Moru, they recognized that Summit shenanigans were about to occur and just, just did the platform drop, or excuse me, edge drop immediate up B to catch Rel a little bit lackadaisical. Stop the battle, hero! TNC is the pick, and we are not changing characters. I, I kind of expected Rel to go hero until it stopped working, and it kind of stopped working in the second half of that last game. But instead, we are uh, we're rocking with it. Both players starting off very defensively this game. Like, it has been a ton of safe aerials on shield, just waiting for somebody to make the bigger mistake. And that is one hell of a mistake by Rel Wood. That air dodge, very, very errant. Anytime you directional air dodge at that distance, you know you're going to get the hard punish. Great presence of mind by Moru to recognize that all they had to do was tap it in. Did that finishing touch. 
Now Rel looking for a Haymaker right here with a couple of these buffs. Just runs right into a side B. But Rick Wall from defense from Moru. Uh, do we just, just, yeah, just let the platform take him away. Oh my God, two stocks gone. Relwood, a little bit of an unfortunate hocus pocus right there, but sometimes when you play with magic, you might get burned. <laughs> that projectile lasts a little bit too long. Mo had a solid idea with the air dodge, but just did not work out. So uh, just don't get whacked, please. Or do for the clip. I mean, I'd, I'd be down for that too. Either, either or. Ford Aram, I dare you. No way. What, what? That almost looked like the confirm right there. That was a very small window of time for Moiru to respond with any kind of a defensive option. So Relwood all of a sudden making this match look a little bit closer than perhaps it should be. Buffs have faded. MP still not looking the most healthy. Does get a zoom though, back to center stage and goes for the charge. Mo actually called out the spot correctly, just unable to get any kind of a connection. Low MP means we want to scrap a little bit. Down tilt into no fall up, good jump away. Let's get the side B again. We are MP neutral though. I want to build up a little bit more so I can get these more powerful options. Great recognition that the shield had been whittled down though. Zoom back to the side. Awesome off stage, and we are stuck on the platform trying to take a moment to read, but no time as platform retreats. Threatens to steal yet another stock from Rel. Back area, we know it's all coming out eventually, Moru. No way. Actually, it would, okay, yeah, we were, we were grounded. So up 2-1 against the hero is Moru, threatening to turn what looked like a disadvantageous matchup player-wise, into an advantageous character matchup. I think if I was Rel, I would switch here. Well, if I was Rel, I wouldn't be here because I'm awful in this game. But I would heartily consider a switch to either the... No? Sticking with the hero? Okay. I mean, you he did win 3-1 with Insin and winners. I'm just saying. Back to TNC does mean that we could see Rel steal stocks early again, but frankly, like, yes, we had two unfortunate situations on that last game, but even without those, like, the neutral was still firmly in Cloud's control. So I need to see something a little bit special here, potentially. Just rolls right through great knowledge from Moru. Double back here to condition the shield and then get that dash grab. Solid counterplay. No crits for Hurrell this time. Both players taking some time to just toss out their little tiny projectiles. Sizz actually clanked with that? That is unfortunate. One, two, still not enough, even with the buff. Actually does bait out the air dodge, but can't get a punish on it. Unfortunate Rel. Does get a forward throw then, and with limit though, it's gonna be really tough to edge guard that. Does instead go for the edge trap. All set up by that accelerado, allowing you to basically extend or like faint like you're going off stage, and then immediately get the run into cover roll. Not possible at all if this character is slow without that buff.
It's like, look at this. We're getting only like one hit, not particularly a strong one, with the buff out. So you have to go for the for the forward tilt too, because you're recognizing that Moru is air dodging or spot dodging at the right times. So we're, we're relying on rapid hit jabs and forward tilts. Not necessarily the most powerful tools in Hero's kit. I'm begging you to get a Kamikaze too. Cash this stock in, I know. Psych up not getting any opportunity to, to let her rip. Instead, the Kaboom to take a full stock lead and get two, three of the account bounce out of the bargain. Forty-three percent from one hit, solid, but was it worth the expect? Oh, there's a crit. Fifty damage off of that one. Moru's been hit twice. <laughs> Moru's at kill percent and has been hit twice. Please get a third crit. I mean, we still got the buff, so this is like next blow might do it. Instead, just the back air on shield expels that last buff. So Moru no longer like one blow away from dying immediately. Side B definitely not gonna take the stock in this position, trying to cover the landing. Instead, has to force into shield, actually. That was very smart. That's something that a lot of clouds do is they'll toss out the limit blade beam purely to force shields, and it really can cover your recovery particularly well. Forward tilt definitely will do it there. Two stock victory for Rel going into game five. The question remains, we're gonna be on Moru's counter pick. Thinking maybe a final D, maybe a Smashville, something to prevent this. Maybe a battlefield too, something to prevent Hero from tossing out that menu as frequently and give Cloud a couple options to cover landings. I very much like Final D against Hero, if I'm being honest. Looks like PS2 instead. All right. No, we're going Battlefield. I dig this. So this is a, uh, this is definitely Moru special. Like lots of clouds do love this stage, but Moru does very, very well here. You can up into the top plat, and Moru certainly does. Also, just up airs and neutral airs and platform drop back airs. Like Moru uses these platforms to enhance the character's mobility. The this player, well, they they got some smarts on this stage. Two, one, go. No, misspaced ever so slightly, and the hatchet man comes raining down, claiming Moru stock one. This is really like the, the X factor. It's like, yes, when forced and behind with these jank moves, Mo does play a little bit better, frankly. But do you really want to give it up in these like devastating situations? They play well from they play well from behind, but it's like. Just do that when you're ahead, please, Maru, I'm begging you. Did Rel jump there? Because otherwise that hitbox is significantly better than I thought it was. I know it definitely hits like below the stage and platform a little bit, but uh, the whole character like the flow. I know Hero ain't that tall. The call out on the air dodge to the platform too. Rel Wood looking so good here, game five. Psych up available. Spend it on the down tilt, though. This is 
starting to look like Rel's got a ton of momentum here. I want to see Moru cut Rel down to size. We got to get like just solid neutral, slow the pace of the game down. Don't feel pressed to chase down or rush down this hero. Play it at your pace. Force him to react to you again, but instead, no, the neutral B into the forward air. And just every now and then, Railwood just turns it on, and it is very difficult to stop this man when he's cooking that well. That means that, unfortunately, I'm going to be alone on commentary because Rel Wood has bunched his ticket into Grand Finals with the rematch of Winner's Finals against Squid Plumber. So these two have been going back and forth quite a bit as of late. I've seen Squid take it. I've seen Rel take it. I mean, frankly, it depends on if we're sticking hero, I think. Like, the, 